The reading culture among Ghanaians improved by 48.1% in 2019. Acting Executive Director of the Ghana Library Authority, Hayford Sion, who gave the figures at a media briefing in Accra, attributed it to efforts by the authority after declaring 2019 Year of Reading. The Ghana Library Authority will be 70 years on January 1, 2020, and has thus declared it a year of learning to encourage Ghanaians to learn as they read. The acting executive director, Hayford Siaun, said 2019, under the theme Year of Reading, recorded an improvement in the patronage to libraries across the country. This year alone, the number of people that visited our library was over 1 million, which has never happened in over 20 years. For the first time in the whole of West Africa, a public library has been able to launch a digital library app where Ghanaians can now download our app and have access to some reading materials you know, and read in the, uh, from the comfort of their home. He added that talking of libraries across the country, improvement in the use of mobile vans, particularly to senior high schools and remote communities, and an increase in accessing materials through technology were some other efforts put in by the authority and intends to do more. One of the things that we are introducing to enable Ghanaians to be able to learn is what we call the Udemy platform. So Udemy is the world's largest online created platform for learning. And we have over 30,000 courses available. Commonwealth of Learning is supporting the Library Authority to provide thousands scholarships for Ghanaians to enroll on the platform. Our projected budget for 2020 is around 40 million Ghana cities, but we are yet to raise that money. He explained that a newly built children's e-library located in airport is yet to be completed and stocked with books. Do you see that outside it is painted and it is not it is not finished. It, there are certain minor works that are still outstanding to be done. So the fact that it is painted does not mean it is actually completely finished. It is not finished. Once it is finished, we will open it and everybody will have access to it. On the Ghana 60 project, he indicated it was a private initiative. It was not a government promise to Ghanaians. Unfortunately, the private company has not been able to fulfill that promise. Commenting on the Atta Mills Library, which is still under lock and key, the acting executive director said the authority cannot be blamed for its current state. We did not build that library. And as of today, we don't know who commissioned that structure to be built. We have been investigating to be able to know who gave the contract who even the contractor is. But all that we know is that a commissioning of the library was done by the former president. It was handed over to University of Cape Coast to manage the library.